Hello and welcome to Marwell Zoo. I'm Nikki, Senior Event Manager, and today we thought we would show you um, a little craft activity that you can do at home whilst we're all currently at home at the moment, but something that will help our feathered friends in the garden. So we're gonna um, upcycle some materials that you can find around your house and turn them into some bird feeders, um, but ones that have got a little bit of a zoo twist. Um, so we're gonna put a zoo twist on things today. So firstly, you're gonna need um, a container. Any container will do. Um, we've got a milk container here. Um, or we've got other milk containers. Um, over here, we've got this one that we can use. Um, or you can use like a squash bottle. Anything bottle shaped is really handy to have. And then you're gonna need um, a pair of scissors, some string, some paints. Um, you need a pen, um, uh, a small knife as well. So we do advise that this is an adult supervised activity. So make sure that your parents get involved as well because it's absolute fun to do. Um, and then we're gonna get started. So what you need to do is take your pen and your container and we are just gonna You want to mark out with your pen first um, areas that you want to cut out. So if you mark out on these what you want to cut out, like so. Make sure that it's really clear. And then if you feel that you want to have a go at cutting, then by all means have a go, but again, for younger children, you might just need to get your adult to help you. I'm gonna just use a knife to make the first little incision here before I use the scissors. So again, adults, you will might need to do this to help the children. And then you wanna cut, cut your wings like so. So what we're trying to do here is make um, holes in your container so that the birds can obviously access the seed that we're going to put inside. So they need to be fairly substantial holes so that the birds can get their heads in to access your seed. And then what we've got here, fold them up. So we've got two wings and then we're going to do a hole in the front as well. So full seed access is required. And again, do get your adult to help you with this. So we'll cut this out. So, and make sure, one thing you just need to make sure is that you leave enough gap between your hole and the base of the container because we need to put a perch in for the birds to sit on to access your um, seed. So, that looks good. So you kind of are looking for something just like this. We'll put that to one side. We've got two wings here and then a hole at the front. So, depending what zoo twist you're going to put on your container depends what color you're going to need i'm going to go pink so i wonder if anyone can guess what bird i'm going to be defying my container up with so then you just want to brush on depending again what paint you're using you may need to do a couple of coats but again you don't have to just use paint if you've got some glue or some felt some fabric by all means you know, go as crazy as you like. It doesn't just have to be painted, but you may need a couple of coats if you are using a paint. So we are just gonna paint this beautiful container pink. And the more vibrant, I think the better as well. I think the birds will love a bit of color this time of year with everything being uh, a little bit wintry. So I like to make mine brighter. go do around the back as well and it's a lot of fun so get as creative as you like during this process and again you don't have to stick to one color multi colors are good you can put stickers on um, whatever really takes your fancy so you want to give it a good coat all the way round we go around the top and then we just do the one side and the wings. I wonder if anyone can guess what this is going to be. Here we go. 
And you then will need to leave this to dry for a little bit, but I'm gonna carry on to let your paint dry. So what we'll do is we'll paint the next bit. So there we go, so give it a nice good coverage all the way around, one wing to go. Make sure you take your time when you're doing your painting. There's no rush on the painting. You want to make sure it looks good. I'm going to do some eyes. So you can paint your eyes or if at home you've got some googly eyes. Googly eyes are fun to do as well. So I do a bit of both. Um, so again, if you've got sticker eyes, anything like that, you can use pens as well. You don't have to use paint. So if you want to mix it up a little bit, I might give my one some little eyelashes. There we go. Like so. And get a couple of googly eyes to put on. So you can have as much fun as you like with this. There is no restrictions on creativity. Glue on. It sticks with the paint. Okay. So you can see it's really taking shape now. So you've kind of created this beautiful theme. Now what we got to do is all good bird feeders need to be able to be hung up. Um, so when you're hanging your bird feeder, you want to look for an area that's away from fences, away from any kind of wall. Um, you need to bear in mind that obviously cats, um, birds will be a bit nervous of anything where they feel that another animal will get to them. So you want, you're looking for kind of hanging in a tree or if you've got like a beam or something in your garden, um, you want to hang it and you also want a good length on your string handle it so you want to tie a knot you can also um, if you don't want to tie a knot if you find that it, your knots are not big and they slip through the hole just pop something through the loop like a bit of a stick or um, a paper clip just to stop it slipping through so you'll see on this one I just put a little bit of wood and a bit of glue so that actually it doesn't pull through when you hang it because don't forget the weight of the bird seed will pull so anything just to make a little stopper there. But if that's if your knot's not tight, you may be really good at tying knots. And then what you want to do at the top of your container, again with your grown-up, because you need to use a knife, you want to make a hole. And then what we want to do is you want to feed the string through. The best way to do this is to make a loop. And then you want to pop it through, like so. Pull the string through. And then you just want to loop it through itself so that it's extra secure, like so. Okay, and your grown up will be able to help you with that um, if you struggle with that, but do have a go. So we're getting there. So we've now got our string. So all we need now is to create a little perch for the birds to sit on so that they can access your feed. Um, so depending on what you've got at the house, if you go out for a walk, pick up some sticks, you kind of want um, slightly straighter sticks, nothing too bent, or you can use some thinner sticks, or depending what you've got around the house, I mean old pencil crayons, pencils, anything, a skewer stick if mum and dad have got one in the kitchen, anything that will just give a bit of, um, make a bit of a perch. And then what you want to do again with mum and dad, so depending on what perch branch you're going to use, um, if you are picking up a stick on a walk, make sure that you, one, you pick one that's off the ground and um, there we go, so make your holes at the bottom, off the ground, not off a tree. So we don't recommend taking the branches off trees. Um, so just a loose one on the ground. And then what you want to do is you want to feed your stick through. You need to give enough width for the bird to sit on. Um, so you don't want it too short, you don't want it too near, so just, again, get your grown-up to help you, like so. So we've got a nice perch here, like this, and then all that's left is to fill it with some bird seed. So we do recommend um, bird seed and not um, bread. So you can pick up some bird seed, any pet 
food shop or any shop like that. And then what you need to do is you need to fill up, making a bit of a mess here, but that's half the fun. You want to fill up your bird feeder so that it comes all the way to the top, to where the bottom, sorry, of your hole is. So that it's easy for the birds to reach in. They won't want to really put their heads in too far because they'll be also making sure that they're safe. So you want to fill it up like so, like this, so that you can see the bird seed there. And again, if you've done a similar design to mine, make sure that your wings are up as well so there's maximum viewing for birds. And there we go. One bird feeder ready for your birds in the garden and again like I say any container can be used so here's a couple as well but I've done different themes so it doesn't have to be bird theme you can do a tiger snow leopard you can do zebra stripes whatever you fancy so have a go we'd love to see your creations that you make at home um, thank you very much